A husband and wife duo who worked for decades as first responders just recently decided they were going to add something new to their plate, mac and cheese. CBS 4's Rachel Bogle tried out the new place for us, and she's showing us what it's like inside. I assume it's delicious. Yeah, it's also great <laughs> inside my belly, but, <laughs> but first we've got to check it out. So last year, the couple uh, brought Indiana's first iHeart mac and cheese franchise to Westfield. Then this past January, they officially opened their Indy location just off 10th Street near the IU Health and IUPUI campuses downtown. We're chowing down at the Circle City's cheesiest new addition on this trip in your neighborhood. My wife and I always wanted a restaurant. When I saw it, I uh, took it home to her and um, she kind of said, another one of these ideas of yours. But who can say no to ooey gooey mac and cheese? After all, the name is I Heart Mac and Cheese and the options are endless when you build your own bowl. You start by picking your base. Noodle, broccoli, cauliflower, quinoa, tater tot, whichever base you'd like. Um, then the, you pick your cheese. You can also add veggies or a dozen different meat options. There are also gluten-free and vegan options. Then they add even more cheese and run it through the 500 degree oven. If you're not feeling creative, there are also chef specials, pre-designed combinations like Philly cheesesteak, the Cuban, or chicken parmesan, which can be made as mac and cheese bowls or grilled cheese sandwiches. But why just pick one? The best of both worlds is a grilled cheese option, uh, but it has the noodle, uh, short rib, and um, cheese slices in it. So it's uh, not only a real cheese, but it has the uh, mac and cheese on it as well. So how does Griffin, who's at his 21st year as a police officer, balance trying to stay healthy while also owning this mac and cheese oasis? That's why I choose the broccoli base and not the noodle. <laughs> you may notice this place is a pretty popular spot for first responders, which is no surprise since Griffin made it a priority to show appreciation for community heroes from day one. For our um, soft opening, we invited police, fire, um, active duty military veterans, uh, nurses, doctors, and teachers. Uh, oftentimes teachers are, I don't want to say forgotten, but you know, left out when it comes to um, you know, that, that sector, uh, that hero sector. While downtown, check out these other local hotspots nearby. Quill's Coffee, Sushi Boss, Practice Indie Yoga, and Downtown Ollie's. So good. And iHeart Mac and Cheese offers delivery through Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, and DoorDash. And Griffin tells us that he and his wife plan to open even more locations around the city soon. So stay tuned for those updates. For more info, though, on iHeart Mac and Cheese, head over to this story on our website, CBS4Indy.com, under the CBS4 This Morning tab. And be prepared. There are lots more pictures <laughs> there to make you hungry. Nick. I'm so hungry this morning. She's I got just, a hard job. I know, yeah. She I serves know. a race. You such know, a, someone has to be job. the selfless tribute yeah, to go out I there and do, you know what, do the hard work. Not enough gets said about all the times you've gone to just some of the best places in this city and around the area and just really worked hard and just enjoyed all those things. You know what? No one says that enough, Rachel. We appreciate you. For oh, I thought you were going to say and not brought any back for us. Yeah. Like, well, that's the thing. That's the that. thing. I, I'm, I'm so far done with that. Like, I know she's not going to bring us anything. <laughs> well, back. something I don't even like that, I wouldn't anymore. either. Uh, I don't but even you expect it. You saw me in there eating. Uh, I mean, you know. You think there was fine. anything left? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fine. A no. real friend would, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. Whatever.